So today I want to talk to you about um, basically speaking what you want and putting action behind it and telling the universe what you want and need and actually going after it. Um, I've been in Dallas now for about two months. I moved from Louisiana, small town, not, not too small, but a small town. Um, I moved because um, I didn't feel that my target market was there. I, you know, I'm a personal stylist have my online clothing store I coordinate fashion shows and I was doing some things but I felt as though I needed to move in order to grow um, and you know what no lie you guys since I've been in Dallas I've been here two months I've done more with my gift and my skills than I've done in what's my own? Um, I've done fashion shows in Westboro. I've, I've done some events. I've sold some pieces to people. But I never got the opportunity to actually style a model, like for a shoot, until I moved here. And it's crazy that these people here don't even know me. They don't know anything about me. They just saw me, saw my Instagram, trusted me, uh, liked my look, felt as though I was professional. And you know, ask to work with me for me to style, you know, their model, help them with their shoe. And it's just crazy how that works. I'm a, I've, I've been out here and I've, I've gotten um, a little disappointed in things. You know, I felt like I wanted to go back home because, you know, it's comfortable back home. You know, it's comfortable being somewhere where you know and you're just um, comfortable. And, you know, and I, I started having those thoughts like I'm just going to go back home. I just got offered to have a studio space back home. I have to pay for it. I can have my store. I can give me a job, you know, and I can just travel. And that's what I said. I can just travel to, to Dallas or wherever else. You know, I don't have to be here. And then things start happening. And um, I got asked to style a shoot and then another shoot. And I felt good doing it. I was happy. And it just felt great to do something that you love. And for people to see that you do have this skill and this gift. And they see that you're good at what you do. And it just, you know, everything I've been speaking out to the universe and to God it is now coming to me. I have a journal and I write in it. Not every day, but very often. And I made it a point to only write positive affirmations and that only write positive things about myself. When I feel the negativity, I'll write it in there, but I try to come back afterwards with something that's going to help me turn that negative into a positive, basically. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys, you know, if you have a dream, you have a goal, something that you love, that you're passionate about. Put action behind it, you know. Do your best. Be your best. Study study, and research and learn. Don't be closed-minded when others try to help you. Um, and every opportunity you get, that's a good opportunity. Don't take all of them. But the opportunities you choose to take, do your best at those. Like, excel. <laughs> and don't strive for, for perfection. Do not strive for perfection. Strive for excellence. 
because that way you give your best and you're doing your best and no one can take it from you so yeah i had fun today today was an awesome day but i just wanted to share that with you um yeah you know uh, subscribe to the channel like i said this channel uh, it's all about natural hair frugal fashions and everything in between so thank you guys for tuning in share this video and don't give up on yourself or your dream it may take a little while but it's a part of the journey it's a part of the process just embrace every moment and enjoy it and when times get hard remember why you're doing it think about why you're doing it have a good reason don't let it just be money good reason to why you're doing it and just keep pushing yourself once you believe in you then people will believe in you so thanks you guys <laughs>